Okay, so that was a quick little demo of the text engine decomp. So, how does it work? Well, it's pretty simple. You want to go to decomp and then replace every single file you see in here with one of your own, excluding the ASM file and this binary bin file. This folder you're going to want to put inside the source folder in decomp. So I have this file called dialogues te for text engine. For every string you define, you just add something in here. So you use this macro, you put the x position, the y position, and the string. The strings get included via the te text tool. You will get a text file, you hit export to C, and then you'll get a C file. You will include that C file, and the name of the string will just be this first part before the dot. So objects work through interaction. They work through the text interaction, and then you set the interaction subtype to int subtype te. If you look at this behavior I have right here, this is my demo behavior I used. It's the sign. You set the interaction to text. You set the interaction subtype to te. And that's it. Everything else is customizable compared to what you want. Inside this file, for testing purposes, I put this at zero. You would want to set this to your behavior param or something else. That's the only thing that you need to change. Anyway, on to the tool. New stuff with the tool. Of course, we have our export to C button. And we also have the few more options here. We have a map option and we have two update directories. All update directory does is it takes every single text file and creates a C or bin file new with it. The map file gives us the option to use a map to reference our functions or labels instead of typing them out the hex address. If you do something like let's say select file, right? You'll see that there is we get to a better scene here. If you do something like select file, you'll see that there's a function. Well, instead of doing that, you can type in the actual label itself. So, let's say if you want to erase file, you put the label in parentheses, typing it literally, and we want to erase file one. And you'll see we have a erase file here. That's not good. There's still a few bugs with this labeling scheme, though for the most part it's functional. One a few more small things to note. Some of these commands don't work with decomp. That's because I haven't finished updating it yet. Basically the camera ones, the trigger warp, and user input, and screen shake. Uh, you can get around those for the most part by using the call function, especially for the warp. You can use call camera functions or call a actually call the shake screen function itself. So for the most part, I'd say all the functionality is here. Um, and scissor is a little wonky, but um, that's about it. So um, happy decomp usage.